Let's look at how we can round 258 and then 673 to the nearest whole number. We're going to start by trying to round to the nearest 10. Let's start with 258. Now, the 10 that comes be before 258 would be 50. So that's 250. And the 10 that comes after is 260. And if we look at this, 258 is closer to 260. So this one will be our answer. Let's try rounding 673 to the nearest 10 then. The 10 that comes before, if I draw it in for you, 673 just there. 10 that comes before is 670. And the 10 that comes afterwards is 680. And if we think about it, 673 is closer to 670 than it is to 680. So this time our answer is 670. Next row. So 253, 258, sorry, to the nearest 100. The 100 that comes before this would be 200. And the 100 that comes afterwards would be 300. A little bit trickier this time, but if we think about it, the number that's right in the middle is 250. And 258 is bigger than that, so we're going to round up. We're going to go with 300 as our answer. Moving on to 673 then, to the nearest 100. The 100 that comes before is 600. And the 100 that comes afterwards is 700. And it's a little bit easier to see this time that 700 is closer to 673 than 600 is. So 700 is our answer. Final row for this table then. Uh, to the nearest south, and this one's a bit trickier. If we've got 258, well, the thousand that comes before 258 is zero. And the thousand that comes afterwards is 1000. So 258 is closer to zero than it is to 1000. So that's our answer just there. And 673 is the nearest thousand. And draw that a bit better. Six, seven, three. It's the nearest thousand. Well, again, the nearest thousand to that, below that is zero. And the nearest thousand above that is 1,000. And this time, six, seven, three is closer to 1,000. So this one will be our answer. Thanks.